Hello, welcome to the Oshkosh Poet Show. I'm Tom Cannon, the host. I am the Naga Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. If you are interested in having a poet come speak at your organization, uh, you can email me at Oshkosh Poet Laureate at Oshkosh Public or you can find out more information at my website, thomascannonauthor.com. Uh, today I want to read you a poem I wrote about Oshkosh. Mayor Palmari had me uh, create this poem for the State of the City Address 2022. And uh, I just wanted a chance to describe Oshkosh. I think that I can be of service to the city by recording what's around us, kind of be a historian for what it's like to be a citizen of Oshkosh. So if you want to see that poem as I originally uh, recorded it, uh, you can go to the Oshkosh Media Channel on YouTube and you can uh, watch the State of the City of Address 2022. But here's the poem. A collage of Oshkosh. Oshkosh, a collage of winter images. Christmas trees marking the road home on the frozen lake. Shanties against a gray sky. Red ice boats scratching blue, people zip zooping in snow pants, gathering under tents on the ice for the fishery. Just down from a dark pool cut into the ice so people in coordinated costumes can hold hands and fling themselves into the frigid for the Special Olympics. Oshkosh, a collage of summer images. Boats burble as they dock at a downtown restaurant or at the leech to listen to music. Perhaps they jostled the fishing boats bobbing under a bridge, or a family of ducks floating along the Fox River. Seasoned citizens shopping for rutabagas, mixed with newly minted adult in sundresses, waiting for bubble tea. The smile exchanged between shopper and monk farmer, the best teacher of harmony. Local musicians at the intersection draw an audience on white plastic chairs. Their music drifts into the open doors of the art galleries and the hardware store. Further down, someone busks an instrument, an open case, and patience. Oshkosh, a collage of the change seasons. Kids in distressed jeans and team jerseys posing for senior pictures against the battered doors of downtown. Or perhaps they're on the grassy square with an instrument or their team ball. Piles of belongings in a line waiting to ascend into the dorms. Down the street from the university, all ages stroll through the tulips and the art shows of a mansion's garden. The Memorial Day march. Gray-haired men and women wave from Cadillac SUVs in the solemn procession down Algoma Boulevard. We stand and put our hands to our hearts out of respect for what we have and what others have lost. Oshkosh, diverse, in some ways divided. Yet we have no shortage of bridges that can bring us together. After all, at times opposing views can both be true. And it's probably what makes us stronger. All of our kids deserve the best schools, yet new isn't what makes ours good. And even as we complain about the roads narrowing, we find comfort that our own crosswalk is safer. Oshkosh, a city with what it needs. Good companies to work for, skilled people to make them good. Safe roads to bring us home, homes to give us a sense of ourselves, while striving for better. Oshkosh, the city with its name on the truck in the 4th of July parade. Oshkosh, a city of adaptive promises. The shore of the river, once dusted with prosperity, shines better with entertainment. Sawdust city gives way to event city. Oshkosh, a city of wards with histories. You can tell which neighborhood by the types of homes lining the street, but I also believe that if you close your eyes, neighbor talking to neighbor sounds the same. We are one community growing stronger with concern for those on the other side of the street. Can Oshkosh become all of its promises? The answer is simple. If this small city can become the busiest airport in the world, we can do anything. Thank you. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the poem and living in Ashgash. Thank you.